No face chase here at the Howard Canal Reservation. Just pulled onto the primitive trail, which I think has been here for quite a long time. And I think they say it's one of the few trails in the area that's kind of always open. You can see to my left, they're doing some pretty sweet work on a new pump track and jump area. Excited for that to be done. Hopefully it's done before the end of the summer. But that's for another day. Let's get on with the primitive trail. I think if you're looking for kind of a classic cross-country trail, this is it. Just about two miles. Good mix of up and down to keep you engaged. And it's definitely some fun optional trail gaps. We'll film a full lap uninterrupted today so you get the full experience. A bit hot, so you're gonna get to hear some heavy breathing. For the three of you that watch my channel regularly and notice I'm on a new bike. Recently bought the Pivot Trail 429. And it's actually a bike I can share with my wife. Which is how I justified it. So far I've been loving it. Probably do a full review at some point. Probably got a couple hundred miles on it. Definitely been riding it more than my Mach 5.5 lately, especially for the flatter trails where I live. <coughs> really only ridden the Mach 5.5 at Horns Hill and Snowshoe this summer, which are two places I probably wouldn't take this bike. earlier in the week so hopefully there's no trees down. <laughs> Like makes stuff like that so much more funny. Short travel 29er, feel the trail more. And then when you gotta start pedaling again, no big deal. So about this trail, I would say it's a solid intermediate trail, both for fitness and for technical skill. There are some little rooty and off camber sections that I think wouldn't be appropriate for a beginner rider. Or if you're a beginner, just be okay with walking. It's only two miles.
stuff that makes this trip fun. I don't remember where that corner was. I always forget to do that little gap off to the left side there. All three times I've ridden the trail. That's definitely the funnest little section. Make sure you go right here. A little bit of a drop off that route. Caught me out the first time. Yeah, it's a little optional shortcut back there. One thing that I'm usually interested in, not a lot of people talk about, is like, what tires are you running? What pressure? So, on this bike, I'm running, it's a 29er, running 2.4 width tires. In the back, I got a Maxxis Recon, the XO casing. And in the front, I got the dissector that came stock. I think that's a really good combo for this bike. Today, I'm running the back at 27 PSI. In the front at like 24, 25. Haven't dinged a rim yet. I would say I ride pretty hard, but I'm only on about 165 pounds. This is where that little shortcut came connected to. Unfortunately, my camera died before the very end of the trail. We'll have to get back to show you the rest. If you're new here and you like this, please hit that subscribe button. We'll see you in the next one.